Hello and welcome to today's Python tutorial. Today we are going to make a rock, paper, scissors game in Python. Let's see what we are going to make by the end of this video. If I run my program, what do you choose? Rock, paper, scissors. I would go with rock, enter, and then computer has chosen scissors and I have chosen rock. So of course I have one. Let's choose it one more time. This time I'm going to choose paper and scissors, paper, and of course I have lost. So this is what we are going to make by the end of this video. Let's get started. So I have opened my PyCharm and we first of all need to import a random module because we are going to choose some random number from a random list. Then, in order to have those ASCII arts, those uh, just hand gestures that you saw, we can simply Google ASCII art and hand gestures. Then this opens up and I simply need to copy this. But if I just copy and paste it there, it's not gonna work. So let's put everything into a hand dictionary. So we are going to make a dictionary. A dictionary consists of a key value pair. So we have a key, our key, the first one can be a rock. And then the way we insert this image, well, this ASCII art, in order to pre preserve the shape and formatting of it, we need to put these between three quotes. So I would one, two, three single quotes. And in between these, I can put my rock. Well, that was a bit ambiguous, but yeah. And then comma, next ASCII art is going to be, let's say, um, paper, colon, then again, three quotes. Let's copy, or did I? No. So this one is going to be paper. So we copy this, go back, and here, simply paste it, comma again, and the last one is going to be what? Um, scissors. Let's just put all in inside double quotes just to be consistent. And then scissors, colon, again, three quotes. And here we need to copy and paste scissors. Now, in order to check if it works properly, let's just copy uh, print uh, hand. And the way we print dictionary items is um, by just uh, using the key here inside the brackets and let's go for rock and run the program and indeed it works cool so this is how actually it works maybe it need to be a bit back so let's oops something like that and this one scissors as well and let's run it again yeah, better now. Okay, so uh, this is the way we print out values of the dictionary. That is the name of the dictionary. And then inside the brackets, we use the key. Just like lists in Python, where you put the list, the name of the list here, and then you have an index, 0, 1, 2, whatever. So in dictionaries, you have keys instead of indices. Okay, now we are set. Now let's ask our user to choose a one of these gestures, rock, paper, scissor. For that, let's say choice, and the choice should be an input by the user. And the input should be, let's say rock, um, rock, paper, or scissors 
And just in case the user uses capital letters or uppercase letters somewhere, we just turn everything into lowercase letters using this method. And remember, this brings back, this returns a string, and we turn that string into lowercase, and we save it inside choice variable. Now that we have user's input, so how can we generate a random uh, gesture? How can we generate a random one? Now, in order to generate a random, let's say, value or key from a, from a dictionary, we need to do a couple of things. The first thing is that we need to get access to the keys of the dictionary, put them in a list, and then choose a random item in that list. So let me show you step by step. So I can say I want to um, get the hand dot keys keys so I want to hand to I want to get access to the keys of our hand dictionary but then what then I need to put them in a list so that I can have random access to that list now I have the keys in a list so I have rock paper scissors in a list how can I choose a random item inside a list. In my previous video, I talked about all these random methods for lists in Python. Now, so we go for random.choice, and then inside the brackets again, parentheses. So now we're going to choose randomly between inside the list. So there is there are some list items here, we're going to choose randomly one of them. And we are going to assign this to a variable, let's say a ran, just for random. And that is why I imported random module here, because we are using it here. Now let's print ran to see what we actually get. So print ran. And I want to comment this out, this line, because yeah, I don't want anything now. So I just run. And indeed, we get a random word paper if i run it again scissors cool so now we have access to these what if i go and so run <coughs> oh dear so now run is a word is a key in our hand dictionary so if i say print hand and then put that run inside brackets what do you think I get now? Well, look, we get one of these gestures, right? Again, another one, now the scissors. Cool, so now we have access to both the user's uh, choice and also the computer's choice. Now we need to compare these two. Now, how can we do that? So we can make some if statements and say that if if um, so okay if choice that is if user's choice equals ran that is computer choice which is yeah either scissors paper rock so if whatever choose user chooses is equal to whatever computer has chosen. Then what? Then we want to print something like draw, right? Well, that would be oops. That would be a draw. Elif. What are the, some other choices? Elif choice equals um, paper. And uh, ran <coughs> equals scissors. So, oops, scissors. Then what? Who has one? Of course, computer has one. So, and I have lost, right? 
So you have lost. So now we are going to focus on the situations in which I lose and then the rest mean that computer has won, right? Uh, or I have won. So elif now, another situation. Elif choice equals um, scissors and I forget to put these here and ran which is computer choice is rock again I have lost right so you have lost is there any other situation in which I lose so paper and rock so elif elif a choice that is my choice is paper uh, or rock or oh, rock yeah my choice is rock and ran that is computer choice is paper so that means that the computer has won Okay, it's just for consistency, both actually are the same. Now print, again I have lost. You, what's that? You have lost. Other situations, it means that I have won. So else, print. So whatever situation there is, it means that I have won. So you have one okay now still we don't we're not printing these out but let's just let's, let's see if it works so far and rock paper scissors I will go with paper now draw hmm let's do it again rock you have one, but we have no idea what computer has chosen, right? So let's put it here. So when it says um, you have lost or you have won, we can also print out what computer has done. So we can say <clears throat> if um, yes, some were here, we can print uh, ran, that is computer's choice as well. So let's do it. Rock, paper, scissor. I choose rock and paper is computer choice, so I have lost, right? So it works. Now, let's think of a way to also insert these instead of like rock and paper. Maybe you should use these now. How can I do that? So, um, let's say there is a it's a draw. So I want to say draw, but before that, I want to also have computers and uh, choice and my choice, and then I would say draw or after this. So in order to use variables here, I use f string. Now draw. Now here I would say uh, u. That is what I have done, and inside curly brackets, I can use now these variables here. So I would say hand and ran that is the uh, item that computer has chosen so paper that is hand paper it means show me this oops this one so that is you oh me actually so choice and then I can go to a next line by backslash n and then I can say uh, computer computer and here I can say hand ran now that's it for computer now I can copy this so I can copy this and put it like uh, here but remember you need to have f string and I'm going to use double quotes 
and here as well again f string and here as well f string and f string and here as well now let's see if it works <clears throat> so i'm going to run rock paper scissors let's say rock you have one you so this was me that is rock and computer had scissors so i have one let's write again rock paper scissors paper you have one again paper computer rock okay i have one so yeah that's it so just for the review what we did was we created a dictionary hand dictionary had key value pairs separated by comma and the reason that we put this inside three quotes three single quotes was that because it's ascii art and we wanted to preserve the shape and the formatting of it that is why we inserted it inside these and then we ask for the user's input and we turned it into all lowercase just in case uh, the user types in uppercase we then try to uh, choose a random key inside the dictionary so we looked for the keys of the hand dictionary we put them in a list and now inside that list we made a random choice and we said ran is now computer's choice of keys then we did some if statements and then if our choice was equal to computer choice it was a draw and then the way we printed that out like this was by saying hand the dictionary and the choice so hand rock would generate this one and for computer is the same ran whatever it was if it was paper this one if it was scissors this one and then we evaluated this so again and again and again so that was uh basically it let me show for the last time who wins so i would go for rock and i have one again rock computer scissors awesome Thank you so much for listening and watching.